With the implementation of the BS6 emission norms, the Indian government has put in a stringent regulation on the amount of pollutants coming out of vehicle exhausts. Complying with these stringent emission norms has led to the introduction of a series of exhaust after-treatment devices in the heavy-duty commercial vehicle segment. These devices help in meeting the stringent limits by chemically converting the harmful exhaust emissions into less harmful gases and filtering out the particulates. Let's have a look at each one of them and understand how they function. The exhaust gases coming out of a diesel engine consist of harmful hydrocarbon, oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide along with soot particles and ash particles from the combustion process. Here we see a diesel oxidation catalyst. It is used to control and reduce hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide coming out from the exhaust. As the hot diesel exhaust flows through the diesel oxidation catalyst, a chemical reaction converts these pollutants into less harmful components. However, particulates such as soot and ash are not physically filtered out by the diesel oxidation catalyst. Here, a diesel particulate filter, or the DPF, helps in reducing these particulates by filtering them as they flow through it. It does this by capturing the particulate matter in its semi-porous medium. Finally, the exhaust passes through a selective catalytic reduction, or SCR, a technology designed to reduce NOx emissions from vehicles. The process begins with hot exhaust gases getting mixed with an aqueous urea solution known as diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, that then enter the catalytic converter. When this mixture comes into contact with the catalyst, the ammonia created from the urea reacts with the nitrous oxides to form nitrogen, water and tiny amounts of CO2. Compounds which are common to the air, resulting in cleaner air, free of particulate matter and harmful emissions expelled through the vehicle's tailpipe.